all in all, this album has a decent tracks. And I could say that Guns N' Roses define themselves in this album as more on with hard rock vibe. And this album has a different vibe against with Appetite for Destruction. Hi guys, Ian here from the Reaper Rocker Vlog and welcome to Album Review Series. And in this episode, we will continue reviewing the Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion albums. And today, we will review Use Your Illusion number 2 as per request of my friend Julius Gatti. And before watching this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as always so you could able to receive more album reviews and all other video vlogs that I share and don't forget to follow my social media account Use Your Illusion number 2 is the fourth studio album by Guns N' Roses the album was released on September 17, 1991 the same day as its counterpart, Use Your Illusion Number 1. Both albums were released in conjunction with the Use Your Illusion Tour, bolstered by the lead single, You Could Be Mine. Use Your Illusion Number 2 was slightly more popular of the two albums, selling 770,000 copies its first week and debuting at number 1 on US charts. Ahead of Use Your Illusion Number 1's first week sales of 685,000. It is the last Guns N' Roses album to feature rhythm guitarist, Izzy Stradlin. It also includes Civil War, the last track to feature drummer Steven Adler in any capacity. So let's start the album review and as usual we will have again my top favorites in the album the honorable mentions and as well as my least favorite songs in the album my favorite tracks in the album are you could be mine knocking on heaven's door civil war and don't cry alternate lyrics version. You Could Be Mine is my uh, most favorite track in the album. And this song is the official soundtrack of Terminator 2, Judgment Day. For me, this song is kinda more heavy metal influence track. And I really love the guitars in this song. Slash did a decent job and the heaviness is uh, too ear catchy my favorite part on the song is the bridge part where i'm imagining myself uh, doing an air guitars and just like a copying slash <laughs> but yes uh, it's really amazing and i love to listen on that bridge part the drums also support the song very well and i love also axel singing it kind of reminds me of the Welcome to the Jungle style on this song. In terms with the music video, the music video fits very well. They are showing some of the clips in the Terminator 2. And this song was also featured in Terminator Salvation. And that's the time I also got an interest to watch the movie Terminator 2 when I uh, saw the music video. It kinda intrigues me and that leads me to also to like Terminator so much. Knocking on Heaven's Door. This song is a cover song from Bob Dylan. And I could say that Guns N' Roses gave life to this song. Slash guitars played very well and he pulls out the emotion of the song through his guitar skills. And Axel shows his excellence in the song. And I love his uh, singing different styles, especially on Knocking on Heaven's Doors. He 
presented at different ranges of voice and I do really appreciate it. Civil War. This song is a good opener track in Use Your Illusion number 2. The transition of the song is good from the acoustic intro to the hard rock on the pre-chorus and especially on the chorus parts. Then they turn more heavy in the bridge part which is I really love until the end. I love the sing the chorus. You could sing along with Axel and the keyboard adds the flavor in the excellence in the song. Don't Cry, this song is also good same as the original in the Use Your Illusion number one. And I could say that those two uh, versions are really great. And with this song, I could say that the melodies are quite changed but it's not really obvious. But it's also good to listen. And the lyrics has changed a lot, but uh, this one, it, it has a deeper meaning comparing with the original one. And I could say that uh, both songs are really good. And did you know that there is also a demo version for Don't Cry that was been also released in 1987. But correct me if I'm wrong with what, the, what was the exact year that the demo was released and I heard also that version and that time it's kinda more raw now let's move to the honorable mentions and those are 40 years yesterday's breakdown and estrange 14 years this track is a good track it's really good to listen and I could say that this track despite this is a he hard rock it's not too heavy but it's not too light it's just right and i could say that the easy keyboards complements very well to slash guitars it's a good combination and you will really love to listen and you could uh, listen this track while you're taking uh, beers drinking with your friends Yesterday's another good track I really love most in this song is Axel's singing style. The keyboards and the guitars are also um, outstanding in this song. The combination is good, same as with 14 years. And you will love to listen this song during idle times and while you're taking rest. Breakdown. This song is has a countryish vibe and it's really good with the country music mixed with the influence of the um, hard rock it's a perfect combination and i love most here is the guitar plays and also the keyboards it works very well and the combination is really good and the transition of the song is well very nice and it's well balanced in terms with the melodies Estrange. This song is one of the uh, most uh, well-known songs in the Use Your Illusion number two, and the transition of the song is really outstands the most. It started on Axel's intro that it's his voice is kind of more operatic, then enters the guitar riffs of Slash. I could say that. The guitar sl guitar rips of Slash is really good to ears and you will feel like um, it instills your mind after the song and it very outstands very well. It's simple but it uh, really adds more emotion on the song and you will really feel it when you listen it. And Axel's uh, singing played different range of voice when, which is very nice since he possess like the versatility in terms of his singing style. In terms of the music video, it's really amazing. It has the same as with Don't Cry and November Rain. It's kinda cinematical and it's you could uh, really love to watch. And I really love most in the music video is Slash Guitar Solos. He owned the stage very well and it's like a god that uh, is like playing the guitar over the water. It's really amazing. 
the least favorite uh, song in this album is only My World. This is the ending track of Guns N' Roses in the Use Your Illusion number 2. And what could I say? The intro of the song, it really turns me off very much. I don't like Axel singing and I don't know if he's rapping or what. <laughs> he He's like a, in a rage or whatsoever. I don't know for some reason but I really don't like it. And I don't also like the woman voices there. I'm imagining that I'm on a place that's, that there's a lot of goons and prostitutes. Now, it's time for the verdict. What could I say for Guns and Roses? Use your illusion number two. And I could uh, rate this album as four out of five. All in all, I could say that illusion number two is way too better than Illusion 1. The songs in the album offers more versatilities and the music styles are really good to listen. First and foremost, I am impressed with Axel's singing style in this album. He showed his different range in his singing and he's really versatile and it's really great. Slash outstand also in the guitar plays. The riffs are quite simple, but he played it very well and he adds emotions on his guitar plays that carries the song throughout. And these keyboards also outstands very well, especially on the live tracks. You could really hear the keyboards and it's really a, an ear catchy. Drums and the bass are also uh, support the song very well. Comparing on Illusion number one, I cannot stop listening on the songs in the Illusion two, and after that song, I cannot stop listening it again and again. All in all, the the tracks are unique. Unlike in Illusion number one, they have the same vibe, and that. Lessen my interest to listen the another tracks and just move for another tracks in the playlist. But in Illusion 2, no. You could be able to listen all the tracks that are really good except for the last track which is my world. I don't like that. But yes, uh, lastly, I could also say that Illusion 2 has more mature in the musical approach comparing in Illusion number 1. Okay, so we're already done the album reviews for the Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. And let me know your thoughts. What would be your best preference? Is it the Illusion number 1 or Illusion number 2? And tell us why. You could comment down below. And we're not yet done with the album review, so we will have this in the future episodes. And if you have like suggestions, like to have an album review, then don't hesitate to comment down that below and I could surely review that. Again, this is Ian from the Reaper Rocker vlog signing off. Stay safe against COVID-19, wash your hands, take vitamins. We'll see each other again. Rahon, Pilipinas.